Hi, this is Doc Watson with Bosch Automotive Service Solutions. The purpose of our video today is to teach you how to purchase, download, install, and then run the GDS software using the Bosch MasterTech VCI as the factory GM tool. The first step in our process will be going to the AC Delco website. From here, we need to register if you're not a current registered owner of an account with AC Delco. Then fill all information out about yourself and your shop, including your phone number, contact information. Now that you have become a AC Delco subscriber, we can now log on to the AC Delco website using your username and password that you just created. On this page, what we need to do is accept the terms and conditions of use agreement. On this page, you will click on service and programming information. On this page, it shows that we have three possible choices for a subscription link on GDS2 software. Once you have decided which subscription you want, you would click on subscribe now and purchase the software from AC Delco for the length of time that you have decided. Now that we've paid for our subscription, let's return to the AC Delco website to the subscription area and click on where it says access your subscription. This leads us to the GDS webpage. We are now going to download the GDS software. Click on the Global Diagnostic System 2 GDS software icon. We now click on Start GDS 2. And we will see Java install onto our computer. The next step will be to install the actual software on the computer. As a GDS installer is installing this software, you will see this pop up where it says MDI Manager. Please select Cancel at this point of the installation. You will continue to see the GDS software loading even though you canceled the MDI Manager. This whole process will take about 15 minutes or so to download onto your laptop. We have shortened this up so that we don't waste your time as you see the install. So now we can see the installation summary page shows that the MDI manager was not installed and only the GDS2 software. So we're gonna click OK. And now we are seeing the GDS2 software open. We select the language that we would like to have it, which is English for me. We see the installation of the software onto the computer. So we can see that it's downloaded new software and we now need to install by clicking on confirm in the bottom right corner. As you can see, the software is now being installed and licensed onto your laptop from the AC Delco website. Well, congratulations, you've now installed your GDS2 software. So let's click the back button and go back to the home screen of GDS2. Now you should see your license on the bottom left corner of how many days of subscription do you have left. We'll go ahead and close the application and let's go back to our AC Delco website and log out. You're going to click the little doorway in the upper right hand corner. This is the correct way to log out of your account. And now we're ready to try our MVCI as the factory GM tool. So now we're going to hook the MVCI to the OBD2 connector. and we turn the ignition to on. Well, now we're ready to go. Let's look at the GDS and let me show you how to navigate it.
As you can see, the software is a little different than probably other scan tools that you have ever used. I just wanted to spend a minute to go through a couple of things that you might want to know how to navigate, such as, if I wanted to go forward and connect to the vehicle, I will click on the large icon that says Diagnostics. What will happen is we will instantly see that it has ID'd the vehicle, and as you can see, we're connected to a 2012 Chevrolet Equinox. The thing that I want to point out here is that I did not have to make any connection to the tool. It automatically recognized my Bosch MasterTech VCI as the factory GM tool running this software. Continuing forward, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter in the bottom right corner. And at this point, you can see the list of modules that I can now communicate to you through this software. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Vehicle Diagnostics. And as you can see, it shows both the vehicle DTC information as well as read vehicle wide DTC and identification information. Again, I'm going to click on Enter on the bottom right corner. What you are seeing on this screen is it is going through and testing communication with the modules. If there was no communication, it will have a circle with a red slash. Now that we've seen the basic navigation of the software, let me show you how to properly turn off the GDS2. We will click on the home button, which returns us to the home page and then click close application in the bottom. That concludes the video on the GM GDS2 software. This has been Doc Watson with Bosch Automotive Service Solutions. Thank you.